Hello and welcome comrade, I'm Geralt and this is tutorial 15 for workers and resources, Soviet Republic. We are going underground today with the topic Metro. If you want to check the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Alright, in this tutorial we will show you how to build a metro line. First, let's build a metro end station. End stations are used to reverse, turn around, metro train sets and also to schedule train launching. Good, good, interesting information, depots. M, we have a big M, Metro end station, Metro ground level end station. Ah, so we have two types. Okay, let's see. Oh, we are going to be going underground, it appears. Boom. You can use the standard train depot to buy Metro trains. First, we need to connect some Metro rails to the depot, then build a Metro tunnel. Okay. And this is our metro end station. So it's just an entrance. No, I don't think that's even an entrance. I think that's just for the air to be coming out. <laughs> right? I don't know. That's how it looks. Okay, what are we going to build now? Railway. Ah, from here to those lines in the bottom. Then You're doing great, comrade. Oh, so that's a different type with a tunnel. Build railway tunnel. Normal tunnel, metro tunnel. Do we extend it or what do we do here? Or do I just... What's the deal here? This is very weird. Too short. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Too short. What am I supposed to do? It doesn't work, game! <laughs> oh, do I have to... Oh! <laughs> I'm supposed to click another button. <laughs> okay. Okay, that makes complete sense. <laughs> so don't forget to click your button here with the underground. <laughs> okay. <laughs> underground F3. Topography, wireframe, and near snap. Okay. Important buttons. <laughs> Build the first station. This station is accessible from the surface, so no further infrastructure is required. For citizens. Metro station with entrance. Ooh, there is a bunch of things here. Metro platform without entrance. Metro above ground station. Metro above ground station large, small. Metro ground level station, small and large. And a large train station. Okay, cool. Metro station with entrance. Let's see. Oh, it's uh, pretty big, isn't it? Boom. Connect it. Connect the end station to the first station with metro rails. So if I choose the other ones, it's not gonna work? No. Okay. Very good to know. What, did I not choose the correct ones? Okay. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Now build the second station. This one is not accessible from the surface, so we'll have to connect it via pedestrian tunnels. Metro platform without entrance. Mm -hmm. So, But at least it says clearly what's going on. Connect those stations. Apparently you have to do it from the place where the game wants you to do it. Good work, comrade. Yeah, awesome work. Oh, and this one, as you can see, you don't have anything here above ground. Unlike the other one, this is the station, right? Yeah. Metro station with entrance, so cool. Ah, and they have like a... S a paravan here. 
Nice, nice. It looks nice. Okay, now build the third station and connect it to the last one. Remember that the second station will need extra space to fit the tunnels. Okay, I'm remembering. Where is the last station? Uh huh. Oops. What's what's going on here? Use required height. Uh. Okay. So I was pressing uh, F, which is uh, what I need to use here. But I guess for you it would be Q and E. Good job. Even excellent job, I would say. Ah, and this is how the underground station looks like. We have some benches here. A lot of supporting columns for the roof, I guess. You don't need that many guys, come on. That's too many. <laughs> okay. Let's build an entrance to this station. Build a pedestrian tunnel entry and connect it to the station. Pedestrian underpass. Metro entrance. So this is here. Instead of being in the train section, which is an interesting solution. Pedestrian underpass, metro entrance, metro entrance, escalators. Much more expensive. Pergola. What is pergola? Cool. We will find out probably someday. We have two pergolas. Uh, okay, where do we put this? Ah, on top, of course. Aha, here. Uh... What's the direction that we're looking at this? Alright. We're going to build another one then? Ah, no. So you have one on top and one in the bottom? Ah, no. This is just a path. Aha. Uh -huh, so we have the underpass uh, building, if I can call it like that. Which connects the top to the bottom. And then you have to finish your underpass with a footpath and then we have to connect to the top one as well uh -huh, very cool very cool so this is your stairs to the station connected with the footpath nice nice and this here is nothing basically just um, a road connection, I guess, if you want to uh, build it with your own resources. Now build the second end station and connect it to the rest of the network. Ah, so we have two end stations then. There we go. You're doing great, comrade. Purchase a metro train set. Set up its schedule and launch it. Um, we should do it here, right? In the train depot. Yeah, these tunnels are so cool. Okay. Purchase new vehicle or mechanism. Show all. Metro. Set. 525 passengers. Alright. <laughs> okay, we have to set up its schedule. And we have to open this. Let's pin it here. We will add a stop. So that will be the first stop. Ah no, this is the... Oh, wait, that's the that building that starts and ends things. Ah no, it, it works for um, a reversal, right? Yeah, okay, okay. So we have to click this one, and then the middle one. And then the last one. And then we reverse again. And then we go back here. 
to the middle one for the last one and we go so cool you can turn off underground mode off for this part let's try and build some tunnels wait let's watch can we go faster so it stopped here nevertheless and it's doing nothing this is very interesting why they did it like that and you couldn't just use a um, normal station for this reversal type of thing maybe the um, the game engine didn't allow any other solution we dropped some people but not everybody and now we're going to go to the other station very nice honestly very nice and here we're going to drop some people off and we took almost no one i guess no one from here wanted to go anywhere maybe we're going to get them now when we reverse when we teleport to the other side <laughs> yeah because we have a bunch of uh, people on this station oh yeah oh yeah we're almost full if not full 400 yeah there is more capacity nice okay i like it very much this definitely was not in the game when i last played it okay let's proceed let's try and build some tunnels with the rail construction office first make a connection to our train network don't forget to place a few signals to avoid confusing the truck builders We can now connect the metro surface rail track to the standard rail track. Regular, trains, uh, regular trains can't use it, but truck builder trains will be able to. Aha, uh -huh. so, so they separated the um, metro rail. Aha, uh -huh. there is also a max speed limit which is lower than the rest. Wood based railway is 70, concrete based is 150 and you have electrified railway here as well. But the metro can also only be used by the metro trains. Very interesting. Okay, good, good to know. Does it look different? Uh, actually, yes, but mostly that it has these fences on the side, right? Are they fences or they're like windows? Let's turn underground mode back on and build the metro tunnel without money. Good job. Where is the rail construction office? Aha. Uh -huh. Purchase the tunnel bore. Oh, a tunnel boring machine. That's so cool. This machine will make your tunnels much faster. That should probably be very expensive, by the way. Can we can we see it going out and stuff? Let's see. Oh, well, it's not cheap. Five hundred and ten tons. Sixty kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. <laughs> I'm not sure if in real life they can travel so fast. I think they cannot travel at all. Uh, purchase a standard truck builder. We need standard rail machine even for metro trucks. So we have a few truck builders, I guess. And they're different length and 17 speed level, 35. Then uh -huh, the most expensive one is the fastest, of course. And they all require fuel, it appears. Uh, 
tunnel boring 260. There's plenty of truck here. Let's do them by speed. 70 speed is the max. It costs 81,000 rubles. Nice. Good work. Are we going to see people going? That's all for this tutorial. I don't see anyone constructing things though. Why is that? Rail construction office. Current number of workers. Ah, there you go, because we didn't have workers. So we have the truck builder going first. Yeah, because we need to build. Uh, hmm, interesting. Why is that first? Laying bricks. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get the boring machine. So cool. This is going to take a while with so few workers, maybe? Workers on construction site. Not enough workers. <laughs> and uh, they came with a... Uh, with the truck builder, I imagine. Because I didn't bring anyone else. <laughs> it would be cool if you have... I actually, that's a very interesting question. Do the helicopters participate in this kind of construction? Hmm. Probably not, right? Because this has to be assigned to a rail construction office. And then, can we... Uh... Can we add a heliport for a construction, a rail construction office? No, I don't think so. I don't see it becoming green. Has to be highlighted in green, usually that's what it was in the previous tutorial. Well, that's uh, interesting questions that we will have to find out the answers for in the future. Great stuff! This guy is still building. And we still have workers in here. Well, wow, that's going to take a while. <laughs> Great stuff! This will allow even more flexibility in city planning and public transportation. What do you think about the metro mechanic? Share with everyone in the comment section below. Don't forget to give the video a like and click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.